It's time. And where are they? Oh. <laughs> eat, Pando, eat! There we go. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Indie World. I'm Amber. And I'm Andrew. We're excited to share Goofy some upcoming ass indie intro. games coming to the Nintendo Switch system. Let's get the show on the road! Let's get it on the road. Panda. Or bear. Many years ago, at the top of Mount Fugu, the cat Oh my god, god it's that old Japanese story. Flower, floating in a nearby river. But it's a cat Nico now. would visit the farms in our village, granting each one it's good fortune water. and prosperity in turn. But some in the village became impatient for their own blessings, and in a fit of jealousy, that guy they drove bread. Nico away, banishing him from the land. Why? Just kill that guy. Many years passed, and our village worked hard to create our own success. The story of Nico drifted from memory. Yet there are some who still believe in the power of magic and myth. Why? Welcome to Mineko's Night Market. Mineko's Long Night ago, Market. The villagers at the base of Mount Fugu worshipped the mythical sun cat Nico. However, recent what did the cat do for us? May no longer be a legend. As the adorable Mineko in this narrative adventure sim, you'll do various jobs, befriend the townsfolk, and craft all sorts of doodads in preparation for this the This looks like it's market. got, you know, Animal wow, Crossing is types of fun, There's you know? Is that a little type of like fun you get when parades, entering you're bored? And performing on stage. You're not doing Did much. It's that kind of fun, you know. On the island can be sold at the market. Now that's one happy customer. And if you're just itching to explore, I didn't tell you that for a hundred bucks. Jesus Christ. But be careful, you might Undertale Indie. I don't think we'll see Delta Rune, honestly. Stop by Mineko's Night Market, setting up shop on Nintendo Switch, September 26th. Humble Bundle? They just keep publishing shit. Game from China? My time in San They censored her shirt! Hi, Maddie. I don't think we'll see people. I don't think it's going to be here. <laughs> I was just going to say. Oh, shit, Maze, you're first. Aren't you in school? Anyway, bye. All right. <laughs> Maze, you're first. Role-playing and simulation games? School. Yeah, you're not this in school, sequel, right? My Time at Portia Ooh. has it all. Oh. Through a captivating story, rife with dozens of characters Boy, and side put quests, his face in, your task in her chest restoring like... restoring this mm. post-apocalyptic desert community to its former mm. glory. Equipped with your trusty tools, you'll gather resources to assemble machines and transform a derelict workshop Bro knew into what a he was doing. tuned facility. Lots of customization well, options are also in your toolbox. Today till next From Tuesday. That's not items, good. You should be learning shit. And decorating your home however you'd like. But there's more to Sandrock than just building. Oh god, this is gonna be Why a not venture very into sus. ancient ruins and scavenge for relics? Or say hi to the locals and make some friends. Locals? Unfortunately, no. this town's kind of popular with the monsters. So take what them the down fuck? in melee combat. Dog My penguins? Sandrock launches on Nintendo Switch this summer. Yogg's Cast Games. Why are they on there? Why is Yogg's Cast on there? I have vacation. Local? Nah, online. Is that overcooked? I don't think it is. I think it's like some overcooked ripoff. From Yogg's Cast. The hell? Pallet up.
It's happening. Ever What's happening? Having your very own the fuck is ha it's happening? You can in the roguelite management sim played up. Roguelite? Decorate Not everything has to be a roguelite. This shit is just overcooked. Place and arrange appliances however you it like. looks like a mobile game. It, it probably is. Because you're going to have your hands full. Lots of hungry customers I mean, at this point, I don't care about the art style. At lightning fast speeds. Fortunately, this looks you fine, don't have honestly. to this gastronomic journey alone. Up to four Mobile shouldn't be bad locally at this point. Online to help run this culinary empire. Manage both the kitchen and front of house to keep your customers happy. Both? At the end of every Why not just hire someone? Shift, you can acquire new high-tech appliances like turbo ovens to upgrade your kitchen and make your next restaurant venture even more successful. Serve up some deliciousness when Plate Up launches on Nintendo Switch. Oh, this Plate Up. I thought it said Palette Up. Cześć, jestem Marek. A ja Monika. Quilts and Cuts of Calico to gra, która powstała z naszej miłości do gier planszowych i kotów. Kiedy wyobrażam sobie idealne miejsce Brazilian? do wypoczynku, widzę ciepły kot i mojego mruczącego kota Darwina. Mogę wtedy zrelaksować się przy ulubionej książce. Także dla mnie koty są synonimem przytulności i ciepła. Te uczucia chcieliśmy wyrazić w naszej adaptacji gry planszowej Calico. It's a board game? Looking for oh the God. perfect board game night? No. Check out Quilts and Cats of Calico. Adapted from the real I'm not a fan of game video Calico. game board games. It feels unnecessary, Place honestly. Place on the board, sew buttons to score points, and attract adorable cats. Aw, cute! Each cat has a preferred pattern. Like, what's the point? So stitch and style Hop on Monopoly. Only one that I would play is Uno. Same. I would only play Uno and maybe and Monopoly. Online multiplayer. Join ranked matches against random players. Cat. Or try your hand at weekly challenges. You can also Are we like giant cats? Customize your cats and give them Uno makes me angry. Good. His eyes. What? Launching on the Nintendo Switch system this fall. Fall. That shit should be out right now. It looks done. Guitar Hero? Crypt of the Neko Dancer? Oh, it's like Rhythm Heaven! I don't think it is Crypt. Mommy? Rift of the Necro Dancer. It is. It is. Crypt of the Rhythm Heaven. Wow, this game has some sick beats. I can tell. I'm glad somebody's doing something Rhythm Heaven like. Because Nintendo's not gonna do it. Did they do it for the Switch? I don't think they did. They did it for the 3DS. Each one has a different movement pattern, and some take multiple hits to defeat. Oh, and let's not forget boss battles. That'll really get you grooving. And if you need a break from the baddies, there's a special mini game to play for each of the five character storylines. Keep the beat alive when Rift of the Necro Dancer launches on Nintendo Switch this year. <laughs> Next up. We've got some DLC news to share for games we previously featured in Indie World. Silk Song? More puzzles await in the Cupboards and Drawers DLC for a little to the left. What in the it's fuck is this? It's across 25 new puzzles as you explore a world of small spaces, secret compartments, and surprising stuff stuffed into every drawer. Charming new is it really surprising? Scenarios are also is that a cat or a dog? DLC, Clean your room simulator. It really June. is. Dig into more roguelite puzzle action with the shovel. Why is everything roguelike? Puzzlers pack. Oh, this is shovel Venture knight. Forth as two newly playable characters, test your puzzle prowess with quandary challenges, and make quandary. your way through the perplexing halls of Castle Quandary. You can also pay Put Mr. Away the Hat a visit for over 20 in-game hats to modify runs, or pick up some nifty new Women's relics simulator. in Chester's shop. This free DLC That's what the cool kids would say, huh? System this spring. I made the joke, so you don't have to. Oh, it's Expand Cult of the Lamb! In the Relics of the Old Faith update for Cult of the Lamb. I haven't played this one. 
I want to play this Dozens one. Dozens of new items, relics, and enemies are scattered across this one looks fun. three mixed dungeons. Guarded by it's the, the new sheep, versions dude. of the four guardian bishops. Take your spoils back to the cult with new buildings to construct and followers to recruit, plus a new unlockable quest. And after beating the game, keep the faith going with the new permadeath, gauntlet, and boss rush modes. This free update launches on Nintendo Switch April 24th. Hmm, that's actually pretty yeah. close. Hello? Oh shit! I am Funny Man Video Game Donkey. Oh god! This I guy. I am joined today by the creator of Animal Well, Billy Basso. It's funny Hello. that he says funny guy. I'm Billy Basso, the developer of Animal Well. The game I've everyone was hyped about well that never forgot. Over five years at this point. All alone, making everything that goes into the game, including the engine. It's Donkey. Just trying to give people the experience of he finding should on Xenoblade. New in a place they've already been before. He should on Sonic. Pretty much. He shits on everything. With puzzles that you would want to keep coming back to, over and over again. I hope you enjoy Animal Well when it comes out on Nintendo Switch. Thank you. Uh, well, I'll, I'll, we'll see. Labyrinth. <laughs> well, well, well. Sounds like you're ready for well. Animal Well. In this atmospheric, pixelated world. You'll search for treasures as you cover a dense v, 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 Where you go is v. entirely up to you. Perfect. So I should be worried about six. anything dangerous, right? Yeah, about that. You're not alone in this labyrinth. Many interesting creatures live here, but some might be hostile, so stay alert. Any items you've picked up can be used in a number of How ways. How nice is the rabbit? Like Just let you hop on its head. Or having friendly creatures help you out in a pinch. And speaking of items, there's a lot to uncover here. Be so wand. Crafty with your items and see Bitch what you wand. Find. I'll be well prepared then. Summon your courage and curiosity for Animal Well, launching on Nintendo Switch early next year. Okay, it looks good. Furry. What is this fucking GameStop ad? Crime cock? Guess what? It's crime. Crime o'clock. Mm, that's odd. My watch says otherwise. <laughs> I meant the puzzle exploration uh, game. Anyway, there's no. Forget what I said. I thought it said crime cock. To solve across time and space. <laughs> Just... But where, or I guess when, do I even begin? <laughs> Elementary, my dear Andrew. Look at your map. There are lots. Is this a puzzle game? This is now called crime cock. Crime cock. Future. In each era, you'll see how it's called crime cock. Different time ticks. Wait a second. Could I do something in one era and change events in another? Exactly. By traveling through time, this game will always be known as crime cock to me now. But... Resolving each case, the map will change and more adventures will be unlocked. Sounds like a timeless experience. Set your alarms to crime o'clock. Crime cock. On Nintendo Switch, June 30th. It's called crime cock. Hello, I'm Peter, project leader at Rain Games. Hi, Peter. I'm Ola, the art director. Hi, Ola. And I'm Marian, co-producer. Hello, Marian. In the last 10 years, we've created a variety of different games, expanding the Tasha Gray Why universe. Am now we are returning I'm to the world's first sequel. These titles are not only a celebration of the original game, but also Scandinavian nature and folklore, the origin of so much of our game's uh, visual identity. We hope you'll find as much wonder as you in this universe. And He's pulling his cock out. We see you Fuck at the top ads. of the tower. Oh, shit. Tuesday. Whoa! Oh! Powers. Shocking, am I right? Tesla Close. Grad. In Tesla Grad 2, you'll harness electromagnetic powers to solve physics-based puzzles. Move seamlessly through Scandinavian inspired environments accompanied by an orchestral soundtrack influenced by nordic folk tunes nordic this land holds many dangers more as dick some beasts stand in your way master the art of teslamency and defeat them tesla to additional areas to explore plus you can play a remastered version of the first tesla grad game which adds enhanced visuals and more dick extra challenge levels wait is this one free tesla grad 2 and Tesla Grad Remastered Bolt onto the Nintendo Switch system. Later today, you can get the game oh. separately or bundled together in the Tesla Grad Power Pack Edition. Oh, I, oh, I'm so glad they remastered Tesla Grad. Is this West of Loathing or whatever it's fucking called? I heard more dick. You'd be excited, would you? <laughs> Oh, 
goofs, goblins, government conspiracies. Goofs. Wait, is this like South Park? Goofy goobers. Absurd trolley problem, dude. Oh, I would love to see a fucking trolley problem here. Sh shadows over loathing. I was right. Holy shit, it is. Mobsters, West of loathing. monsters, and mysteries? Sounds like the cat's pajamas. Sign me up. Cat's okay. vagina? Set in the 1920s oh, with the West of Loathing universe, Shadows Over Loathing is a slapstick RPG full of silliness and stick figures. Your I Uncle Murray asks you to help severely run his stop being shop horny. I no, I'm, but he's nowhere to be found. I'm not gonna fuck a cat. While That's what you guys him, do. You'll encounter a sinister plot that could spell the end of the world. Venture through a sprawling I just misheard. Black and white world filled with talking You're just frogs, assuming something. <laughs> map, and eldritch horrors. Eldritch There's horrors. There's also a ton of roles to play. March to the beat of your own nefarious schemes as a jazz agent. Or hold the curds of the cosmos. Eldritch horrors. They don't look so... The digital version of Shadows Over Loathing. Digital version? Nintendo Switch later today. The physical version of the game will launch this fall. Ooh. Hola, somos parte del equipo de The Game Kitchen. Spanish. y de Lasdor. Soy Enrique Cabeza, director creativo. Ah, Enrique Head. Yo soy productor. Y yo Raquel Alcázar, productora junior. Creme That is French. Y desarrollar una secuela nos da la ocasión de volver a trabajar en su mundo y enriquecerlo aún más. En esta segunda parte hemos tenido la oportunidad de plasmar tanto nuevas ideas de diseño como nuevos caminos artísticos y narrativos. Oh God, we really do talk like them. <laughs> the Penitent has returned. In this sequel to Blasphemous, Blasphemous, I never played this one. Well, I have heard of it. Ravaged by a foul curse known as the Miracle. Hack and slash your way I think I had Tesla grad on the Wii U, actually. Foes, treacherous traps in this brutal action platformer. Choose from three newly added weapons. I just realized that. Each one deadly in their own way. Wield the war sensor yeah, I for it. slow but powerful. I remember seeing strikes. it a lot, like the rapier and whenever it, it was on sale. Lightning fast precision, and the praying blade for the name is super familiar. Combos. By unlocking weapon memories, you'll learn more moves that'll help you survive the dangers lying ahead. Penitence awaits in Blasphemous at the end. I have no clue. On to Nintendo Switch this summer. I don't know much aside from the name. <laughs> But I mean, it sounds like it would be that. Oh, Oxen Free too. Oh, Susie is missing out. Hours ago, a cult opened a portal above Edwards Island. Riley, yes, but are we are we really the ones to do something about it? Have you seen anyone else around? We've been all over. We've seen Netflix different time games. Uh, back sort of. to the past. We're alone. There is no one else. Riley, seriously, Riley. I can't believe. Somebody else opened the portal. All these environments look the same, well, except for this one. <laughs> oh my god. That's a new house. Lost signals. Wait, is this DLC for two? Did two come out already? Riley returns to her hometown of Kamina to research strange electromagnetic waves. But what she discovers is more than what she bargained for. Set five years after the events of the first Oxenfree game, five you'll years. tap into the town's ghostly signals and unsettling static. Tune the radio to communicate with supernatural beings, manipulate the world around you, and watch out for a shadowy cult attempting to open their own reality-altering portal. While exploring this beautiful yet treacherous town, use the new walkie-talkie conversation system to connect with local contacts. Ooh. Some of them may have valuable info that can give you more insight into Kamina's mysteries. Your choices will have an impact on Riley's development, relationships, and the story. Will you forge deep friendships? Turn a blind eye to those in need? It's all up to you. Tune in to Oxenfree 2. July. Airing oh, it is Nintendo Netflix. Switch, July 12th. Pre-orders begin pet. today yep. on Nintendo eShop. Cassie is brand new. Thanks for staying with us so far. 
before we go, hey, they said 20 minutes. A sneak peek of several more indie games coming to Nintendo Switch. Check it out. Pizza Tower? Silk Song? Paper Trail. This looks interesting. Oh, Pizza Tower on Switch. That would be nice. Little Kitty Big City. <laughs> this looks fun. Like, if they don't, it should be a crime. Well, not really. I mean, some games come, some games don't. They don't have all the money in the world. Bro, Tato! It's a warrior like it should go. Yeah, I agree. Doesn't mean they should be. You know. Oh, this looks like it runs like shit. It looks like it's. Oh my god. Jump scare. Oh, security breach! I thought this was like PS5 only. Alright, I guess not. Bomb Rush Cyber Funk! Oh, it's Jet Set Radio! Oh my god. That's all for today's Indie World. We hope you enjoyed everything shown in today's showcase. A huge thank you to the indie community and indie partners working on games for the Nintendo Switch <laughs> Do they have system. one more thing? And as always, thank you for watching. Follow they... our official Twitter account Do they to have stay up to date on the latest news from Indie World. Until next time, happy gaming! They don't have one more thing. Nope. No one more thing. <laughs> <laughs> Did anybody expect Silk Song to be here? Like, seriously? Nintendo's losing money? No, they're not. In fact, they're making a ton. Didn't Mario Movie make like a billion dollars almost? <laughs> Pizza Tower would make them so much money? Not really. It would make them a bit of money since they don't earn all of it. They would earn like what, uh, thirty percent of that money since you know it goes to like the store. Lots of people are putting clown emojis on this. What's up, pussy boy? Susie, you will not believe what just happened. Where is it? Look. Combos by unlocking web two slashing onto Nintendo Switch. What are you doing summer. here? Oh yeah, look at this. Riley, Riley, are you there? Riley, come in. Can you hear me? Netflix. Jacob, four hours ago, a cult opened a portal above Edwards Island. Riley, yes, but are we are we really the ones to do something about it? Have you seen this is like around? the one game I was We've not expecting. To show up here. Gone back to the past. It was already announced. Oh, no. It's just, I guess they showed off a bit more. This was like the release date trailer. Combos two. What's the date? Uh, uh July twelve, I think. Returns to her hometown of Kamina to research strange electromagnetic waves. But what she discovers Soon, is yeah. more than what she bargained for. Set five years after the events of the first Oxen Free game, you'll tap into the town's ghostly signals and unsettling static. Tune the radio to communicate with supernatural beings, manipulate the world around you, and watch out for a shadowy cult attempting to open their own reality-altering portal. While exploring this beautiful yet treacherous town, love use the new walkie-talkie conversation system to connect then with you'll local love lost signals. Some of them may have valuable info that can give you more insight into Kamina's mysteries. Your choices will have an impact on Riley's development, relationships, and the story. Will you forge deep friendships? Turn a blind eye to those in need? It's all up to you. 
Tune in to Oxen Free 2. Okay, yeah, it was July 12th. Airing on Nintendo Switch July 12th. Airing. Begin today on Nintendo eShop. Airing on July 6th. Spoilers with the cult. I don't know why they do this. <laughs> they just spoil, like, they think they're just spoiling the gameplay, but really they're just spoiling everything. <laughs> 